Ken Malay here with a tip from the library. Attendees love seeing the person who's talking to them. Given a choice, they'll always ask for the presenter to appear on camera. But presenting on camera is much, much harder than presenting by voice only. If you're going to do it, commit to spending extra time and effort on making things look right. You're going to have to live with the fact that to look natural and professional on camera is a very unnatural process. TV personalities spend years learning the tricks of the trade that make them come across so authentically. I'll give you just a few tips to get started with. Your environment really matters. You'll want to pay attention to setting up a simple background that doesn't distract the viewer. No open windows or messy offices. Get good, bright lighting that provides equal illumination across your face, hopefully without casting reflections in your glasses. I like to use light stands with umbrella reflectors, which you can buy on Amazon. Get your camera mounted at eye level or very slightly above. You'll look terrible if you have a laptop camera sitting on a desk, focusing on your nose hairs and the ceiling fan over your head. <laughs> know where your camera's framing and focus is, and stay solidly within those limits. You need to lock down your swivel chair so you stay in one place. And keep a nice straight posture while on camera. If you wear a suit and tie, that tie should hang straight down the center of your shirt. Try to hold a single eye line with the camera lens. You can look down at your notes, or you can look to another part of the screen to check for incoming questions, but then come back solidly to the camera again. You want to avoid lots of darting and shifting eye movements. One of the things that trips up everybody is constantly cheating glances at how you look on camera. Once you've checked your framing and focus, cover your image preview window with a post-it note so you aren't distracted by it. Hey, remember to smile every now and then. Presenting is a performance art. You should learn how to at least pretend like you're enjoying the experience of presenting for your attendees. If video isn't going to support your message and add value to the way people perceive you and your company, you might as well not use it. A bad video presentation is worse than no video. But do it right and video can really pay off. I've put together some tips about post-webinar tasks that you can access by clicking here, or feel free to check the index page for the full list of topics. Thanks for watching.